Hello folks, welcome back. August 23rd, and here in Southern Ohio, we are requeening some of our production hives. The way we're doing it is, I have some queen cells that will be emerging in the next 24 hours. So tonight, I'm going in, I'm pulling queens, putting the queen cells in a protective cup, placing them in between two brood frames, leaving them alone for a while. These queens will emerge tomorrow, the hive will accept it as a supersedure. As she walks right out of her queen cell, they'll take her. Sometime in the next five to ten days, she'll go out on mating flights. We still have a lot of drones in the area. Hopefully she makes it back. Unfortunately, this time of year, I only get about a 75 or 80 percent return. So we're kind of gambling. We will keep some of the old queens aside, put them in some smaller mating nukes as backups, just in case some of these don't make it back. I really don't want to graft any more queens uh, this late in the year, any later in the year than this. So uh, I thought I'd film how I'm doing it. And uh, several of these are getting queen cells tonight. Okay, I've got the old queen, found her. We're gonna remove her now. We're gonna put a queen cell down in between these two brood frames right here. So we're gonna pull her out. Okay, now I've got a queen cell here and a protector. Just going to ease it down in here. Stick it right in that brood frame. I'm going to ease this frame over to it. Now these are two brood frames that are really full and emerging. Snug this up a little bit, and again, within the next 24 hours, that queen will hatch or emerge and take over this hive. Hopefully, within about five or six days, she'll go on mating flights. Within a couple weeks, I should be able to come in here and find eggs. That's all provided that she emerges, they accept her, she makes it back from her mating flights. So we got two weeks to figure out what's going on here. A little bit of a waiting game. Okay, finally found the queen in this one. Very last frame. Uh, got her pulled out. Got her in here. And Got a queen cell here we're going to put in between some brood frames. Now this queen wasn't an overly bad queen. They're not overly bad tempered. Uh, honey production was very subpar. Good population, very subpar honey production. So it's another reason to replace her. I like to replace a lot of my production hive queens in the fall. So I got a very young queen going into spring. So we went through quite a few of them tonight, pulled the queens, put them in some uh, queen introduction cages, taped over the edges, um, some of them placing into some mating nukes, some of them actually putting in the top of supers to kind of hold them over for a few days until I know for a fact that the cells hatched and I have a viable queen going. Uh, you can bank queens for a couple weeks up in the top of a super. I really don't like doing it any longer than that. Uh, so some of these I will be putting in some queenless mating nukes. And go ahead and let them take those over. This is a pretty easy way of requeening a hive. It's easier than trying to introduce a mated queen, especially this time of year where there's not a lot of nectar coming in, very little pollen. Our fall flow hasn't hit yet, but we are getting close. 
uh, probably the first week of September. Goldenrod will start opening up. By mid-September we should be going wide open on nectar flow and pollen flow up here. So we're really excited for that. Uh, we're getting ready to rearrange some boxes, uh, get some honey supers back on. want to make sure that they backfill a little bit down around the brood chamber and they have plenty of food overhead going into winter. Uh, I will, if there's a surplus, pull some uh, fall honey. I do expect a really good flow this year. But just thought I'd show how easy it is to requeen a, a colony with a mature cell. Thanks for watching. Hope everybody enjoyed this. Give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and I'll see you next time.